I mean, news is an interesting word. I don't know that any, any two people would agree on the definition of news. Um, you know, one person's news is another person's gossip. And of course, what could be more basic to the rural village life that most Americans were living in the 18th century than gossip, right? That's how you found out about what was going on with your neighbors. That's how you found out about things that were going on in the outside world that might affect what was, gonna, what was happening in your town. Um, and so gossip becomes news in some ways when it's put into print and deemed important enough to be known not just in one individual community but in every other community that might be subscribing to that newspaper. And so news inherently takes on a little bit more importance in that way. And so we want to look at the newspapers for that. We're also sometimes fascinated by things in the newspapers that weren't really news. What's going on in the advertisements for runaway servants, for runaway slaves, for ships or houses being sold at auction, right? This is a way to get a real sense of the society of America in the 18th century, the economy of America in the 18th century. Um, newspapers are, don't necessarily truck in a lot of gossip, but they are trucking in news, in literature, in advertising, in marketing, in all sorts of things that were making 18th century America tick. And so uh, newspapers are just fascinating in that way.